You ready for your three minutes? Go. OK, cool. Perfect. OK, so here's a bunch of photographs that I shot in Times Square in New York. They're just individual JPEGs. So what I want to do is I'm going to show you how to make a time lapse. But before I do, I want to make sure it's going to work before I take all that effort to go into Photoshop. So we can test it here in Bridge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control A, which would be Command A on the Mac. And I don't know why I said Control, because I'm on a Mac. And Traitor. <laughs> and I'm going to right click. See, that's the IB perfect kicking in. Like then you press the Alt key. Thank you for that. <laughs> and then I'm going to choose Stacks. And I'm going to group as a stack. So we put everything together in one stack. So all those photos are there, but I can't see it's too small. So let's make it bigger. And if we go up here and we right click on one of these tools up here. Do you need your other glasses? Uh, no, we're good. Do. Here we go. Yep. And see what oh. I'm doing here is I'm playing this back. Oops, let's not hit the escape button. All right, so it looks like that's going to work. Everything is working. And if it wasn't going to work, we would have had an issue by now. And that's always <laughs> a good thing. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump now into Photoshop with half of my time gone. And I'm going to create a new document. And I'm just going to do this so I can get out of that window. And now what we're going to do is we are going to open. You're the only person I've ever seen do a 3 Max with his left hand in his pocket the entire time. <laughs> I don't know if that's cool or awkward, but we're going to just. Okay. Um, do you know quick keys, bro? Just <laughs> OK, so I'm going to grab the very first one. Now, make sure you go under Options. Under Options, you can choose the little button that says Image Sequence, but it's hidden by default. Click Open. Choose a frame rate, which is going to be 30 frames per second. And I uh, hit the Play button, and voila. We now what? have a time lapse. Time square time lapse. But as Julianne said, wait, there's more. I'm going to right click on the Layers panel, which is on the other side of the computer. And I'm going to convert this to a smart object. And so what I'm going to do with the smart object is I'm going to choose filter. Now I'm talking faster, blur gallery. And I'm going to go down to tilt shift. And we're going to make little tiny people. They look like lots of nice little tiny people. I'd make them better if I had more than 41 seconds. <laughs> and I'm going to click OK. And then hit play. And now we've got little tiny people in the time lapse. And that's yeah. it. All right, 30 seconds oh, to you. spare. <laughs> wow. <laughs> But once it loads into RAM preview, let me go back and show you. This is what it plays back Dude, I don't know if you know how rock and roll works. There we go. There you go. There you go. Now it's Slide rendered. There you go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. Mr. Colin Smith from Photoshop. We have so a time lapse thing. Very cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.